Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a benchmarking. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, the benchmarking is a tool of comparison and results. It got the following characteristics. It is used in projects that work with the design thinking methodology in the phases of ideation and prototyping. The tool aims to compare products, services, competitors and process inside and outside of a project or a company. Also evaluate business ideas or improvements plans in a company. In order to develop this tool, it must be collected reliable information that allows to generate a real comparison. As a result of the benchmarking, it must be decided if the service, business or idea or process that is being analyzed is good, it's bad, it's wrong or it has to be done again. The components of the benchmarking are kind of benchmarking, reference, process and activity, and result or improvements. Well, the benchmarking that I'm going to show you today is the basic one. It got four main elements and the first one is the kind of benchmarkings. This means that you need to know what are you going to evaluate. The product, the service, the business idea, process, or anything that you need to evaluate. It really, in a benchmarking, you can basically evaluate or compare anything that you want to know if it's working or if it's not working. Whatever component you want to evaluate with this tool, you can do it. After you decide what are you going to evaluate, you go with the second one, which is reference. You need to find information, reliable information. At least you have to have three components that you can compare what you are evaluating. So, for example, if you want to make a car, you need to find three cars that are similar. You have to be very specific, very detailed, and you have to describe that really deep. So you are writing here all the components, all the elements. If you want to have a good benchmarking, you need to be really specific. That's extremely important. After that, you evaluate the process and activity. This means how they made it. Like, what is the process? How many, how much time uh, the people spend in doing that? How much it costs? That is very important because here you need to know if you are competitive or you are not. Because sometimes you think that you can make it better, but probably is not cheaper. So you need to evaluate and compare if that is a good option to do. Finally, we have the results and improvement. So in reference and process and activity, you have make a big description of all the process, of all the costs, of all the things that you need to have to develop that. Here you analyze and you decide if it's worth doing it or not. Because it's really important that not always that you are doing something, it means that it's going to happen. During this process you can realize that what you are doing, it can be competitive. And that is a valid point because this means that you are not going to waste your time and your money in that investment. So it's really important that you be really open-minded with the fact that maybe the insight that you find here is that you don't have to keep continuing working in that. Or maybe you just validate what you were thinking and you are sure that what you are doing is worth doing it. So you keep continue developing uh, your product, your service, or your business idea. When you finish the comparative evaluation or the benchmarking, you can make the decision regarding your project or process. The success of this tool depends on the quality collection of the information and the analysis that you make. At the end of the evaluation, the decision should allow to improve, confirm, or not develop. So 
that's the final result. When you realize that what you are doing is worth doing it or not. Or maybe you have to rethink, go a bit behind and realize that maybe you need to change something. Thank you so much. I hope this video was a big help for your development. Please subscribe to our channel Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, every day in our social platform. We got a special content so you can check it out. On Monday, we always have a new video in Spanish. On Thursday, a new video in English. Uh, thank you to all of you. We are the number one channel of design thinking in the whole YouTube world. So thank you so much and see you next time.